What's going on guys? Adam Snyder here with the Homemade Entrepreneur. Today I want to show you how to do retail arbitrage and why, in my opinion, this is one of the easiest ways to make $1,000 quickly. Now, if you've been looking for ways to take your little bit of money that you have, the $10, $20, $30 that you have in your wallet, and reinvest that back into something and make some money, retail arbitrage is the way to do it. Let me show you right here. This pair of shoes, these are Mike Trout, these size nine and a half. Okay, look, look at this. I paid $5, can you see that? I paid $5 for this pair of shoes. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, I paid $5 for this pair of shoes at Marshalls. This is size, brand new. Okay, brand new. See right there, display. Brand new, did not come in a box, but I paid $5 for this, okay? Retail arbitrage is essentially where you go into a store, a retail store, you buy something, okay? For example, this pair of shoes that I bought for $5, and you resell it online for a profit. Now, I'm gonna show you where you can sell this, and we're gonna jump over the computer in just a second. I'm gonna show you what it's selling for on eBay and what they're selling for on Amazon. Now, what I wanna just say before I jump into the computer is that on Amazon, Nike products, okay? Nike, these shoes right here, are gonna be restricted for probably 90% of you guys. Because of that, figure out how you can sell these shoes on eBay. All you have to do, take some pictures, okay? Put a price. Now, at a $5 buy cost, these do not have to sell for $100 for me to make money. Anything over $20, I'm gonna make money on this shoe, all right? So I'm gonna show you right now what these are currently selling for and how much I'm gonna make. So let's go. All right, so here we go. Now, in a second, I'm gonna give you some tips on doing retail arbitrage, but for right now, let me show you how much these pair of shoes right here, how much these are going for, okay? Now, again, these are nine and a half, okay? So this is a size eight, and if you're not sure how to get here, all I did was I clicked, I went to eBay, clicked on advanced, typed in the, the name plus inside on the tag, there's a number. Now, it's not the, the barcode number, it's there's a number right above it, and it's usually uh, right above like the made in China thing, or where it says made in China, okay? Type that in, that's this number right here. And that's gonna give you the exact shoe, okay? So once we have that, then we can see, okay, what's it currently selling for? Now, if you look right here, this one sold, this is two bids, brand new Mike Trout, the same shoe, size eight, this sold today, this actually sold this morning, uh, for $24 free shipping. That's great. These ones, $22 sale price plus $22 shipping sold three days ago. Okay, those are 10 and a half. Okay, so the, you know these ones right here, nine and a half. Okay, same ones, new, just like mine, $26 free shipping. Um, these are size nine, 26 free shipping. Uh, not sure, size 12, 29.95 free shipping, but also has a box. So let's just assume this pair of shoes right here is gonna sell, cause it's a nine and a half, okay? Sold three days ago. We're gonna say this is gonna sell for $26, all right? So let's go and put that in. Buy cost, okay, right here. So it's $5, $5. Sell price, we're gonna say 26, okay? $26. Now, we'll pull up the little calculator. But if it's a $26 uh, sell price and PayPal and eBay fees pretty much comes up about 13%, okay? So 26 times um, what, 87, there we go. So total is gonna be 22, actually let me fix that. 26 times 13, okay? $3.38, put that in, okay? Shipping. Shipping on a pair of shoes like this is not gonna be that much, okay? Because you take this shoe, turn it over like this, like this, and you push them together, okay? Like that. You push them together like that, and then you wrap them, okay? I usually put them in a, a little bit of a, like a, a clear wrap, and then I put some bubble wrap on them, and I stick them in a poly bag, and they do very well, okay? And that's gonna cost me about $8. Okay, so I'm gonna put $8 in right there. Okay, so let's see what my potential profit is as long as they sell for $26. Let 
That's the key, is they have to sell for $26, all right? So let's see what the profit's gonna be on that. And this is all with eBay, okay? So let's pull up the calculator again, okay? So we have $26 sell price minus $5 for our buy cost, minus $3.38 for our PayPal and eBay fees, minus $8 for our shipping, so our potential profit is $9.62, okay? $9.62. So let's just assume, okay? Let's just assume that we can do, um, so I have a bunch of these shoes. I don't just have one pair, okay? Now I don't have any more that are size nine and a half, but I do have a bunch of other ones, different colors, different different color ways, uh, different sizes, um, you know, men's, kids, stuff like that. So let's say we can potentially get, uh, let's say 50 sales, let's say 60 sales in a month, okay? 60 sales in a month from shoes, okay? 60 sales from shoes, okay? 60 per month. So if we were to figure that out, in a month, okay, at that profit, now the, the math isn't gonna be too hard, but 962 times 60, okay, that will give our potential profit, that's two sales per day, that's $577, okay? $577, that is very important, okay? That's really important because at 60, at 60 sales, if each one of those cost me $5 a shoe, okay? Five times 60, look at this, $300 is the only money we had to spend, and we almost doubled that. $300 was our, our uh, buy cost for, for 60 pairs of shoes at $5 a piece. Now, are they all gonna be $5 a piece? No, but they could be. So 60 pairs of shoes, Five dollars a piece cost me three hundred dollars, and our potential sales or profit per month—that's profit right there, not just sales. Actually, profit in the month is almost six hundred dollars, so almost two hundred percent. Okay, two hundred percent. That's an incredible deal, and this is just one of the reasons why I absolutely love doing retail arbitrage. Now, I'm just going to show you this really quick. Now, like I said, ninety percent of you guys are not going to be able to sell. Nike brand shoes on Amazon, so that's why I showed you eBay. eBay is still an incredible platform, uh, but you gotta understand what you're selling, how much is it really going for, and you gotta figure out ways to protect yourself, okay? So as a seller, obviously, you wanna be protected. Now, Amazon is an incredible platform as well, and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna send the majority of my shoes that I have in boxes, not these, obviously, because they're not in a box, and I don't feel like really send them to Amazon, but, they could sell on Amazon and you'd make a little bit more money because if they're selling for $60, Amazon takes their small fee and you know you spent $5 on them. I'm gonna make a lot more than $10 off this pair of shoes if I sold on Amazon. However, I'm not going to because I think they're gonna sit for a little bit. So I'm not gonna do that, but Amazon is an incredible platform. So come over to Amazon, do the exact same thing, type Nike, type in the number and just see what pops up. All right, so this pair of shoes was just one of the items that I bought. Let me show you another one that actually came in the box, all right? So these can make me about $10, okay? That's great, but I want something that's gonna make me a little bit more money. This pair of shoes, okay? These are Adidas. Um, these are Adidas, firm ground, something white, off-white color, cream. Anyway, yeah. So these ones are a six and a half. So these are six and a half. Uh, in in boys, I guess not really men's. Okay, brand new. Everything's in the box. You know, two pairs of or two shoes, obviously. Uh, but this is one that I actually picked up from Adidas, from an Adidas outlet store. Ended up picking these up, I think for like twenty, twenty-five dollars. I don't remember exactly what it is, but twenty to twenty-five dollars. I'll be able to make some money off this. Okay, that's what retail arbitrage is. I go to a retail store. I find items that. I could potentially sell for more online, whether it's eBay or Amazon. Those are my two places I sell stuff, and I sell it. I list it on there, on the platform, and I hopefully sell it. That's my goal, that's what I try to do. Okay, so, let me give you some tips. Now, I like to sell a lot of shoes, but I also sell a lot of electronics. Those are two things I mainly sell, especially on eBay. Uh, it's mainly shoes and electronics. I do that because that's what I know. 
So my number one tip for anybody out there that is trying to get into retail arbitrage or wants to make $1,000 quickly is to buy and sell stuff that you know. You know, years ago I used to sell a lot of uh, older cameras, older digital cameras. The Canon PowerShot series was incredible. I, used to, I made a lot of money doing that. I still do a little bit of it now, but I've shown a lot of people how to do it. Because I've shown a lot of people how to do it, there's obviously a little bit more competition. However, a lot of the people that were doing it were not doing it correctly because they had no clue what they were buying. If you don't know about soccer shoes, okay, that's, that's what these are. The Mike Trout ones that I just showed you, those black ones, those are baseball shoes. If you don't know what the shoes are, if you don't know, you know, if you think they're going to sell, if, you know, when is soccer season, when is baseball season, when is football season, if you don't know those things, you're going to have a tough time selling that product. Don't do that. Find something that you know. Find a category, a niche, a topic, you know, a sport that you know and understand and go that direction, okay? That's tip number one. Tip number two, you need to reinvest your money, okay? Those, the shoes I just showed you. Now, chances are I could sell more than two items. If I had 60 items and I listed all 60 items in a day, I could probably sell more than just those two, just two items per day. And when they sell, the money goes into my PayPal account. Now, I've had a PayPal account and an eBay you know, account for a long time. So I'm not held back by any restrictions. I don't have any sales limits. Uh, I can pull all my money out of PayPal as soon as it gets deposited. So if you're new, you will have limitations. You won't be able to list 60 items in a day. That's not going to happen. That you'll probably be limited to 10 items until you reach those limits and then they will push those limits a little bit higher. You can sell more products. With PayPal, they will normally hold, they'll put a hold on the, the funds for a little bit until everything's good, everything clears, and then you send off the product, okay? I don't have that limitation. A lot of you guys that are watching this video, maybe you don't have a limitation as well. So if you don't, take the money from your product, okay? Take that money, the, the initial investment that you made, so the $20, $25 for this, the $5 for the shoes, I'm gonna take all that money plus the profit and reinvest it back into the business immediately. Because if I do that, those $577, you know, the, the whole screenshot that I showed you, the whole you know Google Doc, that thing, okay? The potential profit, if I take that and do 200%, because initially I spent $300 and then I made you know $277 profit, so almost 100%, okay? 200%, 200%, whatever it is, okay? If I pretty much double that, that is over $1,000, okay? If you wanna take some money right now and reinvest it back into something, invest it into something, I highly recommend retail arbitrage, number one, because it's so easy. There's so many stores out there. A lot of these stores are closing and you can find clearance products. That shoe, the black shoe that I showed you, this one right here, was a clearance product. You can see it, okay? You can see the, the sticker from Marshalls. You can see it right there. It's a clearance product, okay? Because of that, I'm gonna make some money off it. Because if it wasn't, this is probably a $20 product, I'd make no money. There's no money in it if that's the case. Okay, that's tip number two, reinvest back into your business. Tip number three, okay, and probably one of the most important ones is be consistent. Don't go out to the store and buy 50 pairs of shoes today and you're only gonna list five of them or you know, one on eBay or you know, put one on Amazon. Don't do that, be consistent. Go and buy 10 pairs of shoes today and list all 10. Go buy 10 tomorrow, list all 10. Go buy 10 the next day, list all 10. Be consistent with whatever it is you do, okay? That's one of the things that I struggled with early on. And once I was consistent enough and I knew what I was doing, that's when I started to make money. So if you guys have any questions on how to make money doing retail arbitrage, how to make an easy $1,000 very quickly, let me know. You can always ask your questions down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also. Click that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. I'll see you guys on the next one.